Well, this is my own dog, Bjorn, and uh, he's here in my veterinary hospital. And um, I actually recently had to do a surgery on Bjorn myself. He got a torn ACL in his knee, and this was only about three weeks ago. He's a little bit nervous right now because he remembers that surgery, and he probably doesn't want to be here. So uh, I was pretty shocked about two weeks ago when I found that he had a little problem on the inside of his mouth. I was giving him his medication after his operation and I had actually realized that he's got a small lesion on the inside of his cheek and it looks ulcerated and it's a bit ugly looking. Um, you may not be able to see it with him awake but uh, I can show you if you want to come over here to his side. It's right inside this cheek. Did you see that little light spot? That's what it is. Now what I'm really, really hoping and praying is that he's, you know, he's a little bit nervous and I'm really hoping that he's actually just been chewing on his lip. You know, people do that sometimes out of anxiety and uh, I really hope that my dog has that problem because I really don't want it to be what I'm a little bit nervous that it is, that it may be a cancer involving the lining of his oral mucosa, possibly a fibrosarcoma, a squamous cell carcinoma is what I'm really worried about. So I just can't believe it. I've been working on this cancer project for dogs and their owners and now I'm about three quarters of the way done uh, with the book and I'm finding this lesion in my own dog and um, it's a little bit hard to take and uh, it's <laughs> the irony is a little bit much but I just hope that it turns out to be benign. So I've got to charge for it, I've got no choice. So he's already had blood work done actually just this morning to make sure he's all safe. He's going to be lightly uh, anesthetized today. Uh, I'm going to give him a little injection of a sedative right now which is going to help with his pain and then uh, in about half an hour we're going to go ahead with the procedure and we're, what we're going to be doing is taking a small piece of tissue actually from the lesion and we're going to be submitting it to a pathologist so that I can get a biopsy report. That'll usually be back uh, within 10 days or a week if I'm lucky. Um, the pathologists are the folks who sit in front of the microscopes and look at these things all day and they're going to be able to be the best ones to tell me whether or not uh, Bjorn has cancer. So I'm waiting uh, anxiously, but uh, first for the procedure. I'm going to go ahead and give him a little injection of oxymorphone here. Can I give him a little uh, hug over here? This is just a subcutaneous injection right here. Give him a little shake. And we're all done. Yay. So it looks like he didn't really feel that very much, and I was distracting him a little bit. So hopefully he'll be okay. Dude. And that's it. So uh, we'll be ready in about half an hour.